upon the once peaceful continent of Macroland, the Black Hole Army begins to tighten its iron grip of domination. Hawk, come forth. Yes, Lord Sturm. Provide me an update on the Macroland invasion. Proceeding as expected, Lord Sturm. The commanding officers have each completed their tasks. And our objective is clear. Yes. Yes, my lord. To establish a base of black hole operations here in, on War's World. <laughs> Indeed. It was not long ago that I personally instigated the great conflict here between the various armies. I sought to turn them against one another, then conquer all amidst the unrest. <sighs> And yet, I failed my goal. Uh. That was in Cosmoland, was it not, Lord Sturm? <laughs> I will not make the same mistake again. This time, I will establish our base here in Macroland first, then attack with the utmost confidence, strength, and time needed to assure victory. To that end, I require materials and funding, for war is anything but a cheap affair. <laughs> Do not worry, my lord. The CEOs have been given their orders. They will transport all that you desire from the lands they seize. Hawk, do not fail me. Never, my lord. All right, time to jump into this new campaign and I am very excited about it. We're gonna go, I'm... Yeah, we're gonna still go classic, because I always like the challenge Advance Wars throws at us. Hey Sammy, Nell said you needed to see us. Huh, Andy, Max, thanks for coming so quickly. You're not gonna believe this, but the Black Hole Army's back. You gotta be kidding! Didn't they learn their lesson the last time? <laughs> Well, maybe they need some after-school tutoring, and by that I mean facing the full might of the Orange Star Army. Not like actual after-school lessons. Not like what I usually have to take with Nell after every campaign. Yeah, we got it, Andy. Just put me in direction, Sammy, and let me at him. So then, Andy, we're not in Cosmoland anymore, and we don't even have their location pinpointed yet. That's probably important, huh? Here in War's World, as you know, there are several continents. Really? You twerp. You have no idea what a continent is, do you? I do so. Uh, hey, you're not calling me dumb, are you? I'm just saying that people who don't know anything don't know nothing. All right, knock it off, you two. This is neither the time nor the place for that. But you got more pressing matters to attend to. According to Nell, Macroland is the focus of the conflict, which is why I called you guys. Sturm's forces have been spotted in Orange Star territory, and they've been attacking other nations too. What about our allies in Blue Moon and Gold Comet? Are they under attack? Yes and yes, Green Earth too. Intel is sketchy, but I take a guess that they're also working to push back the Black Hole Army. It'll be like a family reunion. We will show old Buckethead where the stuff is tubes. Uh, Andy, this is war. Do you really think there's anything to get excited about? Uh, no? I yeah, I know, but it's just it'll be nice to see everyone again. And anyways, what are we waiting for? Let's go find a continent. Wait a sec, Andy. Andy! And eh, eh, he's gone. You know, the kids got not the right idea. We gotta get into the battle sooner or later. Better just dive right in. Besides, Storm's no pushover. He probably knows our weaknesses better than we do. If we're gonna beat him again, we gotta stop his forces before he gains too much strength. It might be too late already. I know. You're right. And it's been so peaceful around here lately, too. Anyhow, I got a hunch Nell is ready to give us a little refresher course on basic combat ops before we head out. But that's fine. After all, you can never have too much training, right? Oh yeah! I'd rather just get out there, but I guess you're right. Bring on Nell. All right, time for a bit of a refresher course. A new enemy has planted its flag on Orange Star soil. Face off with Black Hole's troops and drive them all out. Hey, 
What gives? Why aren't those orange star lines broken yet? I'm sorry, sir. They, uh, they're stronger than we had anticipated. <gasps> I love that Black Hole's troops are as nerdy sounding as the, the voice I gave them when I initially played through this. Like, I always expected, just by the design of the Black Hole forces, that they just had the, like, the nerdiest voices ever. And I also like that they're little, like, fall guys in, in Reboot Camp. They're oddly adorable, and I kind of want to plush them. You don't hear so good. I asked for victory, not excuses. Y yes, sir. Uh, only, uh, uh, we have reports of a new Orange Star CEO arriving now, sir. If we continue to push forward, our casualties are likely to be, uh, well, very high, sir. Not much choice here, so we fight into the last unit. And this new hotshot Orange Star CEO, tell me more. Okay, we've taken care of the majority of the Black Hole forces here, but they are proven more dangerous than I anticipated. Commander. We've located remaining enemy units, preparing to launch pursuit. Understood. I'll take it from here, soldier. Dismissed. No. What's going on? Are you okay? Andy. Thank you for coming so quickly. I'm sorry for the second call. Oh. Just point me at the bad guys. Settle down, Andy. I've already wiped out most of the enemy. Oh, shoot. I was hoping to impress you with my improved battle skills. I wouldn't be so cavalier, Andy. This isn't training, it's the real deal. You might be a mechanical wizard, but you, I don't think you're as combat ready as you'd like to believe. I'll let you take over, under my guidance of course, but are you sure you know the best strategy to win? Yes, ma'am. Let's get started. Just remember, not every battle is the same. And there's more than one path to victory. Do we need to go over how the terms of victory work again? For a refresher course? Sure, why not? Have we checked out the intel on the map menu? Can we select it? You'll see several new menu item, uh, items. Terms, status, units, and guide. Anytime you select terms, I'll provide you with an explanation as to what you must do to, see, to succeed on the map. But make sure to inspect those other items too when you have the moment. There's a lot of useful information in there, so it will be worth a look. <laughs> you got it now. Check terms on how to win and check the other stuff for the other reasons. Can I show those enemies what I'm made of now? I skipped breakfast and I'm hungry for battle. Oh, Andy. Okay, go ahead, take command, but I'll be watching closely. So don't fool around and run those troops in circles. All right, so right back into the fray. There's actually some. There's actually a very like funny thing that can happen if you run out of fuel for your vehicles. But for the time being, let's load up our mech unit into the APC and get that moving down here. As we can see, uh, the the light tank for Black Hole actually has some pretty decent range. So what I want to do is I want to put my tank right here. Let's put the artillery right next to the APC. And let's get this guy. We'll put him on the road right now. That's one tough lady. Gotta wonder if I can even win against these sad sack grunts. Ha! Huh. Oh, this is where the fun starts. Okay, not gonna lie, I don't dislike Flaxstein as much as I originally did. Like, it has a bit more of a beat in this, but, like, it's still one of the weaker CO themes, and in my opinion, it just sounds like the, the meme where the base is boosted up to 200%, I'm sorry. Hey, no, remind me, we're fighting the Black Hole Army, right? Yes, however, it isn't Stormer facing this time. It appears to be another CO. And I get the impression that whoever it is, he just wants to smash things. Ah. Well, nobody on our team's getting smashed while Andy is around. Yes. There's that optimism I expected. Keep it up. Alright, so before we jump into the fight, let's go over some intel. And uh, talk about, or no, the CEOs. There we go. 
So Andy, a mechanical boy wonder with a good all-around skill is impulsive to a fault. He's fiercely protective of those he calls friends. Andy is average with no specific advantages or disadvantages. His likes are mechanics and his dislikes are waking up early. Advanced Wars 2 has a special ability where not only do COs have regular CO power a la the first game, but they also have super CO power. They provide even higher benefits, but at the same time, it requires a lot more time investment to actually get that super CO power to uh, fully hit its bars. As for Andy, he only has to hit three boxes to use his regular CO power, but has to uh, fill up all six boxes to use his super CO power of hyper upgrade. His CO power of Hyper Repair restores 2 HP and gains plus 10 defense to all his units, while his Super CO power Hyper Upgrade restores 5 HP to all of Andy's units, and they also gain plus 20 firepower, plus 10 defense, and plus 1 to all movement range, so it is a very significant boost. Oops, I forgot to go over the Black Hole CO we were fighting. Flak, the strong man of the Black Hole Army who is promoted from Private by Hawk. Occasionally strikes with barbaric strength. Flax units may randomly strike with, with a modifier of power fi uh, firepower between either negative 10 or plus 15. Flak is what I would like to call a dice roll CO. His, his fights can either go really well in your favor or really badly. And his CO powers also really emphasize that. His likes are meat, but his dislikes are vegetables. His regular CO power is Brute Force. Flax shooters randomly gain a modifier to uh, increase his firepower between plus 40 or negative 20. He also gain plus 10 defense. His super CO power of Barbaric Blow, his units may randomly strike with a modifier of either plus 80 or negative 30. They also gain plus 10 defense as like the regular CO power. It's the same CO meter as Handy, so it's pretty much a yeah, pretty much the same amount of energy that needs to go into getting Flax CO power as opposed to Andy's. No significant boost to his troops, just like Andy, so it's just basically the average across the board. So for the time being, let's go and get our tank moving up to engage this light tank that's right here. Alright. I think that actually worked a little bit into Flak's favor. For the time being, let's drop off our mechs right here so we can hit that tank from the side, move our infantry right here, and we'll move our artillery right behind here, so hopefully I probably should put the infantry right here to protect it, but ah oh well, we'll just have to make do if he decides to go after that, but no one CO's in Reboot Camp, he's gonna target that APC over any of my other units, because CO's in this game have a preference to target APCs over anything, even if they are not manned, see, yep, see, like right there. And using, C uh, using APCs to kite enemy aggression is actually a very good strategy in this game. Alright, so let's take the APC and actually we'll move it right here. Load you boys into here for a little bit of extra protection. We'll move our artillery to strike their units hiding in the forest back here to deal with that extra defense that the forest provides. We'll send our mechs up here to finish off the tank. And the, we shall move our tank up here and deal with the units in the back. My personal strategy, you can either just focus uh, fire on the weaker unit to weaken them enough to, or completely wipe them out. I like to try and distribute the pain around so that way multiple units aren't as effective as singular units. And thankfully they're weak enough they can't even scratch the pain on the APC. I'm so smug for only doing one point of damage. Alright, let's use you guys to finish off that first set of infantry. Let's use our tanks, send them up here to attack the artillery because they are now completely defenseless. And we 
should have that taken care of next turn. Huh. Andy, did you notice the display up there is filled with energy? That's the CO power meter. Over the course of battery, energy will gradually build up. If you notice it flashing, your CO power is ready to go. When the CO power is ready, you can activate it by selecting the power from the map menu. But keep an eye on our enemy CO power meter as well. They won't hesitate to use their own CO power against us. If you ever want to check Intel on CO power, select the CO from the map menu. Alright. Uh, let's move you guys right here. You guys should... Yeah, you're still out of range of the artillery. And we'll put you guys down here in the forest. I'm the strongest CEO this side of the equator. Other uh, side too, probably. Oh, you're running. Oh, you think you're going to go for my artillery. Is that the case? Well, you're trying to make a beeline for my HQ. Oh, sorry, buddy. You kind of walked right into this one. match oh. I can't get over Andy's uh, ridiculous sounds sometimes hey all you villain types listen up the orange star army is here and I order you to surrender <laughs> you did it Andy Andy this entire area has been liberated <laughs> yeah but wasn't it kind of easy I'm good but not that good I got a feeling that was just a taste of the battles ahead. But for now, let's celebrate your victory. Keep up the good work, Andy. That's just a taste of my skill. Unfortunately, it's the same uh, victory screen as the original Advance Wars in Reboot Camp. I'm I'm kind of miss like the the cool like battle screens that the original Game Boy version has, especially the one with the hidden Raptor in it, as I always like to say.